Yeah. What's up, people? Welcome back to hitthebid.com, hitthebid.net, whatever the hell you want to call it. Suck my NASDAQ, all that great stuff. <sighs> it's becoming a repetitive nightmare. The uh, just redundant, just awfulness that happens. Sometimes I don't even want to talk about it because it's becoming almost unbelievable to myself. It's like a surrealistic nightmare that continues to happen every morning. So yesterday I had somebody come in, his name is Malice from the chat room. He'll be in the chat room probably sometime today. You could ask him to testify. So we had a list of stuff that I wanted to buy yesterday. I was looking, of course, at the Morgan Stanley. I was looking at the HIG to make a decent move up. Looking at the FAS. We were looking at um, Goldman Sachs. A few different things. Looking for the financials, obviously, to move up. Looking for Baidu to have a strong morning. And wouldn't you know it, between the hours of 9.30 and 10.30, basically nothing worked. The level twos would just keep going into gray boxes. The time and sales were off. The charts weren't working. Nothing was working, so I pretty much gave up. And you know, the funny thing is, oh, Chesapeake Energy, I'm sorry. That was one of the best ones that we had because what happened is I, I thought I actually got an execution before the machine started wigging out. But it, it, that wouldn't be my life. My life, if I would have got the executions, the next time I would have got a print or, or, or a, a quote would have come up, it would have probably been down a point. But wouldn't you know it, it was up a point as soon as the machines came back and started working. So then it was just, it was, it was impossible to do anything. I wasn't about to start jumping into stocks. So what I did was, it was beginning, it was gonna be one of those days where I wasn't gonna do anything. Those are the days where I'm gold, Jerry, gold, okay? When I'm just telling people what to do, I'm never wrong. It's just when I do things myself now, I'm just absolutely horrified and just disgusted. But let's just not even talk about stocks right now because I want to talk about politics. And every time I get into politics, everybody gets up in arms. Because you know how I feel about America right now. I'm just really down as we all are because the powers that be, nothing that I did, nothing that I did has put me in a situation. I mean, granted, I don't know how to trade and make money in the stock market. But other than that, my wife's job's falling apart. My real estate's not worth as much money. I have no chance of making money in a money market. There's nothing to make money on. You can't do anything. Interest rates are low. I can't even refinance my loan because interest rates keep spiking back and forth all over the place. All the problems that have happened are because of somebody else. It's not my fault, and I'm pissed, and I, I want a revolution. I have weapons, I have canned goods, I'm ready. Like I said, I have swords, sword sharpening. Everything in my house is going to be able to run without electricity or gas, so I'm prepared. What I want to know is Barack Shamalama Oma Ding Dong, Barack Obama is in the White House. Okay, first of all, let's—I don't even want to get to the point that his first, his first interview um, <laughs> as president was done on an Arabic uh, news station. Okay, I don't even know how to feel about that. Maybe he just he, okay. He wants to make peace. He, I understand he wants to go. He's this new worldly guy who wants to make America the superpower that we should be, the peace-loving superpower that we should be. So he goes on some Arabic nation, uh, some Arabic station and starts talking. But I want to know one thing. You're the most powerful man in the nation, in the world, sorry. You have all this power, right? First thing you do is shut down the Guantanamo Bay prison camp. Now, we don't know... I forgot exactly where all these prisoners came from. Some of them are probably innocent. Maybe some of them are enemy combatants. All some of them are waiting for trial. Blah 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 blah. Where are they going? Where are they going, Barack? I thought you were the people president. What I want from my president right now is to carefully explain to me what exactly your plans are. Just don't sign everything. You know, I didn't know he was a lefty. Kind of makes me feel weird about him now. Signing everything is like, good, 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 Lefties are weird. My dad's a lefty. My father-in-law's a lefty. When you see them signing stuff, it's just, it just bothers me. I don't know what it is. But um, I see him signing that into, so he's shutting down Gitmo, right? Why? Because there was a, a alleged torture going on there? Is that what it is? Oh, we don't want to be known as a, a nation that tortures our prisoners now, do we? Because then when our prisoners get captured, they get tortured. Don't you think that's happening already? Huh? Now you think that you think our hostages are treated well when they're taken captive? Yeah. I mean, do me a favor, Brock. Shamalama. Watch 24 for a couple episodes. Show you how to deal with terrorists. Jack Bauer style. Just whisper, whisper, then loud, then, then yell at them, then yell at them. Whisper, whisper, tell me where the bomb is. It's just whisper, whisper, and then yell. It does a lot. Apparently it works. I don't know. Then you shoot them up with some drugs and then make them sweat and tell the truth and admit that they're gay. Shutting down Gitmo. Where are they going? Where are these prisoners going? They coming to America? Is that what it is? Just letting them go? 
Because you know some of them are bad people. There's got to be at least, I would say, 60% of those guys that are being held uh, captive are bad guys. Evil doers, as the Bush Doctrine said. The evil doers. You don't want to let them free. Where are they headed? Where are they headed? Tell me. I don't want them to come to America. I don't want them going back to Afghanistan or Iraq. Where are you going to put them? Put them in the regular prison system? That's what you should do. Send them to Rikers. Send them to a prison over in, uh, in New York City. That's what you should do. Let them... Go being Gen Pop. See how long they last in there. If you're going to shut it down, I want to know where they're going. And also, I want to know where the Madoff money is going. Barack, come on. So powerful, right? You're all, you're all excited about signing everything with your left hand the first week. Go. I don't care what the law is. You're the president. You can do whatever you want. Go visit Madoff. Make a little press conference. Smack him in the face. <laughs> where the fuck is the money? Maybe the money's going the same place where the Gitmo prisoners are going, into limbo. The money's just in limbo. We're just going to send the, the... Yeah, we're just shutting it down. We'll, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll just work it out. The prisoners, yeah, they're with... The, 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 get, the Gitmo prisoners and, and the Madoff money, yeah, they're all going to be... Yeah, just don't stop. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just hope the media stops talking about it. We'll just figure it out some other time. I don't know. I have no idea. I want to know some things. I want to know some things. Also, so you signed this law about... Uh, I want the cars to be more fuel efficient. Yeah? Is that what you want? Like the car companies aren't in bad enough shape that uh, now you're going to put some more uh, uh, strict rules on how their cars operate. So let me ask you a question. So you sign this law, right? What if they don't obey the law? What are you going to do? <laughs> are you going to punish GM and Chrysler and the car companies? What are you going to do? Are you going to sanction them? They don't have any money. They're all going out of business anyway. What are you going to do? What's the point? What's the point of even having a news conference like that? What's the point? What are you going to do? You're going to slap the CEOs? Do me a favor. Go to the Citibank CEOs. What does that hurt? That you gave them all this. You gave them $50 trillion to bail Citibank out. And the first thing you do, let's go buy a new plane. <laughs> Fuck it. Here's what you do. Let's go. That's slap parties. Remember I was talking about slap parties? The CEOs of Citibank. Now, what are they thinking? They're thinking, ah, oh, you know what? We fucked everybody so much. We're not even embarrassed anymore. They're not. That's what it is. They don't care. They're not embarrassed anymore to spend the money, uh, however they, however they want. They just get another bailout. They bought a fifty million dollar jet plane. What? I, I, I just heard the story. You know, haphazardly. So I don't even watch the news anymore because it's making me sick. But they bought a plane, fifty million dollar jet. What's what's going on? What's going on? Where's my bail? I'm still waiting for the Jew check. All I need is a quarter mil. I'm telling you, all I need is a quarter mil. I can stretch that. I'm a Jew. I can stretch that for a good 10 years. Just milk that money. Come on. Send me my Jew check, Barack. Send it out there. Come on, sign a petition. I'll give you 20 good reasons why I should get $250,000. If you're going to send all this money to everybody else, I don't know. Put me in charge of Gitmo. Give me a job. Let me do something. So, uh, back to the stock market. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? It's going to become complacent. Oh, if you're wondering, remember Goldman Sachs at the end of the day? I said, whatever you do, buy Goldman Sachs at the close because it'll probably gap up tomorrow because I was trading it. Uh, I was just trading 100 share lots of it, black and full, blah, 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 blah. And that was the malice pick. So stocks gapped up a buck 40. Yeah, whatever. Not a big deal. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's not a big deal. What are you doing? I don't know. Did I get all the points out? Barack Obama, huh? Do something. Do something for me. I want the, I want to know where I want to I want to sit down with Madoff. I want to know how he did it, where the money is, and all this other great stuff. And I want to know where his prisoners are going. This is all. Just a few things. A few things I want. Not big deal. It's not a big deal. That's why. Vote for me. The only way this country's gonna make anything uh, get any better is that we have a third party that actually means something. Just to just to inst- at least to instill fear in the Democrats and the Republicans, because obviously they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yes, I'm not too excited about the uh, first couple of days here. Mark don't give a shit. Can't keep bailing everybody out. Where's the little money coming from anyway? Uh, that's, uh, not smart enough to understand this. So uh, basically, what, is China going to own us? Well, the money's got to be coming from somewhere. We're borrowing it to pay these other guys, hoping for the money comes back. What if they still fail? What's going to happen then? Huh? Uh, yeah. It's time to take a nice warm bath and open up a vein, I think. 